Okay, so I'm not a very uh, timely person. I'm what you would call a procrastinator for sure. Because um, in this project, I'm doing like two different challenges, I guess you could say. I'm doing the art snack box from April. And yeah, I know it's not April anymore. April was a while ago. But this is the box from April. You can check online yourselves. And then I'm also doing the YouTube Artist um, Collective's little challenge where it was like urban myths from where you are. And um, I live in Minnesota. It's, it's kind of a lame place. Like we have a few things. Like we have the beginning of the Mississippi, Lake Superior, and more lakes. And then after that, we're almost like Nebraska. Like we're not that bad, but we're not much better better either. There's not a lot going on in Minnesota. Um, we're pretty lame. But, um, I had to definitely turn to the Native Americans for an actually interesting urban myth because all the other ones were super lame. So thank you Native Americans for that. Um, so this is a Wendigo and I always thought Wendigos were really cool. Um, how the story's always been told to me like a group gets trapped of like family or friends in the winter snow like in a blizzard or something and they run out of food so one of them who just like really wants to survive not that you can blame them um eats their own family or friends and this is like a bad thing you're not supposed to eat other people and this um bad thing you did um it changes you into a wendigo you become this monster now normally it looks more like a weird anamorphic deer ghoul creature with antlers but I like pretty ladies so um I took some artistic liberty and did it as a pretty lady instead especially since I had this cool reference picture for the face um and I think it overall I mean it wasn't too bad considering I barely planned it out like I did this piece really fast even for me um maybe because I was so incredibly behind <laughs> But I really flew through this piece. Like, it only was a few hours and I was done, which is not normally how this works. Normally it's, like, 30 minutes here and there over, like, a couple weeks. And it only take forever to get these pieces done. But this particular box had a Tombow um, twin-tipped brush pen. It was black and gray, and it's supposed to be waterproof when it dries. And I let it dry, like, the original lines, but um, the gray doesn't hold. I tested it on some other papers before doing this. Gray doesn't hold at all as a liner on this particular pen. The black kind of holds, but I would um, definitely recommend being careful and conscientious of working too much near those lines. You gotta be careful with them because they will um, like blur and that's not really what the person wants. But the marker is cool and I use it for a lot of other things like taking notes in class, which isn't what it was intended for, but oh well. And then they also sent an aquarelle watercolor pencil. Now these are like really good watercolor pencils. They're just so soluble and I really like them even if it was in lime green, which lime green and burnt sienna just uh, that did not really float my boat, but I did it anyways. And the Dollar Roni acrylic ink came in the burnt sienna color, I believe it was called. Now this is actually really nice acrylic ink, not that I really know a whole lot about acrylic ink, but compared to what I've used in the past, I'd say it was pretty nice. And then um, the lovely Robert Simmons short handle acrylic paintbrush also came with this. And like, dang, like this is a good brush. I really like it. Um, the one I got in particular, let me pull it out over here. Let's see, it's the liner. It says Protege 526 liner, um, a number two. Yeah, uh, I love this paintbrush. It's great. And I abuse my paintbrushes, which is why I normally get, like, the $3 pack from Walmart, because I treat them terribly. They just sit in a cup of water for, like, ever, which isn't good for them. But I try. I'm just not I'm not very good at taking care of my stuff, I suppose. Um, but yeah, overall, I think this piece went okay, except partway through, I came to notice that I, by the time I was doing the background in a little bit here, I realized I never drew her other arm. <laughs> she just has one arm. I never drew the other one, which is problematic. And then, um, way, way early on, if you go back to when I'm doing the lining, you can see it better, but I kind of hit it with the dark colors here. Um, the antler on the right side of her head, if you're looking at the picture, uh, when I was doing the hair, I put the line straight through where the antler goes. And so that's why I added the gray, um, like, leather wrap on the antlers, because I had to balance that mistake out.
but overall, considering all my years and how much I messed up, I think it went pretty well.